barbarian. begins in the quaint and slightly soiled land of Udragoth, where Dave the Barbarian undertakes one of the greatest challenges a warrior can face. Trying to keep pancakes from sticking. Fang! I made my special apricot pancakes! You kids today with your gourmet cooking, it's a sickness. And look! They're shaped like little kitties. Isn't that cute? <laughs> Kitty! Gourmet cooking is not barbarian-y! Uncle Oswich, Fang's being mean to breakfast. Nuh-uh! Yeah, huh? Would you stop it? Sorry, Uncle Oswich. Can't you two just pancakes? <laughs> when Mom and Dad left to fight evil, they said Candy's in charge because she's the oldest, and you got to protect the land because you're the biggest. How are you going to do that if you don't act like a real barbarian? I never wanted to be a barbarian. You did when you were ten. Only because I thought it meant a librarian who also cuts hair. Don't make me turn you two into cabbages again. Sorry, Uncle Oswich. Meanwhile, Dave and Fang's older sister, Princess Candy, is meeting some friends at the great indoor marketplace. Hey, Dinky. Hey, Cheezette. Oh, my gosh, Candy. Where's your hat? You totally gotta get one of these hats with antlers. Everyone's wearing them. <laughs> um, we have to go. Yeah, sorry. We can't be seen with some poor hatless loser. I gotta have one of those hats. But where can I get one? Are you looking for something, darling? Yeah, I... We got that. <laughs> Just got a big shipment of snakes. You want one? Please, buy me. Actually, I'm looking for one of those hats with antlers on it. We got that. I'm a hat! Please buy me. Look, anything that can say it's a hat isn't a hat, okay? Oh, a hat. You want a hat? We got that. I'm a hat! I just want a hat with antlers! You know what would look very nice on you? A snake? You read my mind. Uh... I want a hot dog. Buy me a delicious! Later, back home at the castle. You guys gotta help me! We're here, Fiasis. What is it? Is something chasing you? Is it bigger than me? Dave! No, I gotta buy a hat. Ooh, I can help with that. I love hats. What do you need? A cap? A derby? A plumed velvet tricorn with satin trim and those little sparkly dangly bits that hang down and they're all dangly and sparkly and... I need one of those antler hats everyone's wearing, but every shop in the marketplace is out. We should go to Dermaloon. It's the hat capital of the world. Can we go, Uncle Oswich? Can we? Can we? Huh, please? It's okay with me, but maybe we better check with your folks. And so, Oswich prepares to contact Candy, Dave, and Fang's distant parents using the mystic cold ring of summoning. I call upon thee to summon forth images of Throctar and Glimia, wheresoever they may be. Please deposit ten. Dreckles for the first five minutes. I told you we don't want to switch long-distance carriers. Oh, sorry. Honey, Oswich and the kids are in the cauldron. Hi, how are you? Great, just great. How's battling evil going? We destroyed the evil citadel of Nacrar the Obliterator yesterday. We had a lovely gift shop. We got you a spoon. Mom and Dad, can we go shopping at Dermaloon? Can please, we, can please, we, please, please, can we go, please, please, please? Well, I suppose it'd be okay. Yeah! Whoops, gotta go. Giant man-eating cockroaches have come to rip out our entrails. Bye, kids. Have fun shopping. <laughs> Hooray! We're going to Dermaloon. We're going to Dermaloon. Gosh, there's nothing I'd rather do than go shopping. Except maybe pound ten steaks into my skull. And so our heroes set out for Dermaloon, accompanied by Dave's pet lightning-breathing dragon, Faffy. <laughs> Their quest takes them deep into the desert of peculiar smells. Ugh, what is that? It smells kind of like a cross between rotten bananas and being hit in the face with a shovel. Ooh, look, a white-bellied nosepecker. 
What an exquisite specimen. It's a bird watcher's dream. Ah! Get it off of me! Get it off of me! Pajabbers! Yay! You gotta start being a real barbarian. You gotta give up stuff like bird calls and needlepoint. You know origami? What's that? The ancient art of paper folding. Barky, barky! That's my origami! Look. Pajabbers. Tumalu, the hat capital of the world. Where is everybody? This place is emptier than a supermodel's head. Ooh, ooh, I see hats. Look, they have fezzes and top hats and plume velvet tricorns with satin trim and those little sparkly dangly bits that- I see one with antlers. It's beautiful. Guys, I think I know why everyone left. Puny mortals, Dermaloom has been conquered by the master of evil, the prince of destruction, the Dark Lord, <laughs> hey, cut it out. Cut it out, cut it out, cut it out, cut it out! I'm the master of evil! The master of evil! I can't help it if I have an adorably curly tail. What a cute little piggy! Cute? We shall see how cute you find the mystic amulet of Hog Swindor! <laughs> And now, my fiendish sand monster shall destroy! I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, are you chewing gum while I'm delivering my villainous threats? That is so rude! Spit it out, little mister! <laughs> now, destroy them! Ah! Yay! That was not barbarian ah! Moments later, far in the frozen north, Oh, what's that? The really ain't fish? I ain't interested. That's my motto. And back in Dermaloo. I wonder if they have those hats in green. <laughs> Go away, I'm shopping. Yo, Sand Monster! <gasps> I'm gonna squash you like a rotten peach! Brave words for such a small monkey. I'm not a monkey! Dig me! I just invented sandboarding! Look! A red-crested arctic hammer beak! Oh! 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 Get it off of me! Get it off of me! Suddenly, Dave's uncannily acute hearing picks up a distant echo. Yay! Fang! I may be scared. I may be a lousy barbarian. But nobody messes with my sister! Yay! Come on! Let's do it! I hate it when I run out of kitty litter. That's the stuff. Oh, Dave, that was great! So, Dark Lord Chuckles the Silly Piggy, do you surrender? I'll never surrender to you or your monkey. Not a monkey! My enchanted sword will change your tune, villain! What? What are you looking at? What? What? I guess I was hoping for, I don't know, like some kind of magical energy blast. And you couldn't say something? What am I, a mind reader? <laughs> ah, it seems we are evenly matched. Not really. Mine's still set on low. Bye-bye. You shall perish beneath the might of my mighty... Mightiness! <laughs> His new barbarian tactics having failed miserably, Dave knows not what to do. There must be some way out of... Well, that's interesting. Why is it so echoey inside my head? Hello? Row, row, row your boat. Hey. <laughs> Strength can be defeated, but wisdom cannot. Use your intelligence, Dave. Do things your own way. Dad! You contacted me magically. Nah, I'm just a hallucination brought on by stress. Well, gotta go. The annual hallucination costume party's tonight. <laughs> I'm going as a fairy princess. <laughs> hallucination dad was right. I have to do this my way. But what is my way? <laughs> oh, look, a moose-eating thunderhawk. Again with the birds? Why? Dave, quit playing.
thing with the piggy. I want to buy this hat. Hat? Of course, a hat. <clears throat> Evil piggy, I'm going to handle you my way. Please don't hurt me. Please, oh, please, please, please. Dave! Normally, I hate pathetic groveling, but on you, it works. I'll give you anything. Look, utilizing my world-renowned artistry, I've made you this origami hat. Ooh, I love that. And with antlers, very fetching. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What was that? The mating call of the moose-eating Thunderhawk. Ah! I'm not a moose. I'm a pig wearing an origami hat with antlers. Yeah, yeah. I wish I had a nick of every time I heard that story. We shall meet again, Dave the Barbarian. And when we do, I shall destroy you and your monkey. Not a monkey. <laughs> ah, not the eyes. And thus is the evil piggy defeated by the awesome power of folded paper, hats, and bird calls. So can we get the hat now or what? Later, after our heroes have returned to Udragoth with the hat of Candy's dreams. Hey, Dinky. Hey, she's at Look. I got a hat with antlers. That is so yesterday. The Japs. There is a night so horrific that few dare speak its name. A night so filled with terror that brave men whimper like frightened antelopes. A night when fierce creatures prey upon the weak. A night known as... Should I wear the pink boots or the fuchsia ones? The annual Barbarian Ball. Yeah, I love you, sis. But let's face it, I don't give a rabid weasel snout what you wear to some stupid dance. You don't understand. One fashion mistake and the other girls will rip me to shreds. Cool. No, I mean really rip me to shreds. Cool. I wonder which one's Pank Scruggle would like. You're going with Pank? Ew! He's such a worm! He's only the coolest boy in Udragoth. I just heard the good news. About my date with Pank Scroggle? No, I just heard I'm gonna MC the ball, and the MC always eats first. They're gonna have those nut lugs I like. I just heard the good news. About my date with Pank Scroggle? No. I just heard I'll be working the hat check room with the ball. So many hats. It's like a, a beautiful dream. <laughs> About my date with Pank Scroggle. <laughs> about you winning the dragon lottery. I have a date with Pank Scroggle. Do you understand? Pank Scroggle. Duh. Heir to the Scroggle Lint Mines. Pank is so dreamy. He's suave, handsome, charming, sweet. What more can a girl want? How about somebody who doesn't have little twiggy arms and smell like rancid yak butter? Ah, it's huge and disgusting. What is it? A monstrous ogre? An ogre's monster? Tell me quick so I'll know the best way to run away. <laughs> Oh, that. It's just a zit. Just a zit? I can't go to the Barbarian Ball with a zit. Princesses don't get zits. Put some zit cream on it. That stuff never works. I'm doomed! A little magic, I'll have that hideous thing off your face faster than you can say, get this hideous thing off my face. Get this hideous thing... Get <laughs> Do you know how much I hate you right now? Sorry. Marikaloo. Panstafuss. Blurgan. Hey, look! It's the Pillaging Illustrated swimsuit issue! Move your hand one inch closer, and you'll be pulling back a stump. I didn't want to do this, but I'm going to have to use the most powerful magic words known to sorcery. Benzoyl peroxide! <laughs> Uncle Oswidge, I could kiss you if you weren't so short and old and ugly and smelly. I'm not that short. Yes, Princess Candy's pus-filled foe has been vanquished. Or has it? Later, at the Barbarian Ball, it seems as if all of Udragoth has come to drink cheap fruit punch and stand around awkwardly. Is this thing on? Testing one, two, three. Good evening, barbarians and barbarianettes. And thanks for coming out tonight. Uh, you know, at times like this... Not lots! <laughs> May I have your hat, sir? It's madam. Oh, feathers. They're so feathery. What is it with you and hats? There is definitely something very wrong with you. Swim. 
my pitties. Swim! <laughs> like rancid yak butter. Yeah. It's so dreamy! Um, you want to dance? Sure. Wait, you mean with you? Uh, yeah. <sighs> Come on. you think. Ah! Ah! Is it? It's back! Oh, right. That's why I don't use that spell anymore. May I have your hat, sir? <laughs> the jabbers. Uh, I think I just did. Hey, you're the only one who can save Candy! Mm. Dave, I know where you're hiding. No, you don't. Yaha! Uh -huh. No, uh Yaha! -huh. No, uh Yaha! -huh. Uh -huh. Knock it off, you two! You're upsetting the hats. Sorry, Sorry Uncle, Uncle Oswidge. Dave, Fang is right. You have to go rescue Candy. Okay, I'll do it. But only if I don't have to fight the monster. Of course you have to fight the monster! What are you gonna do? Bake it a pie? But everybody loves pie. Later, in a cave outside Udragoth. You know what I hate most about eating people? When their shoes get caught in your teeth? Bingo. Excuse me, have either of you gentlemen seen a princess and a giant zit around? Uh, you want the next cave over. Meanwhile, in another cave outside Udragor. You shall never again see the light of day! Ah. Ah. Yes, the Zip Monster has discovered that evil cackling can only last so long. Sooner or later, there's nothing to do but talk. So, <clears throat> how's it going? Apart from me capturing you and all. Okay, I guess. I was actually kind of glad to get away from that ball. My date turned out to be a real creep. I am Sebastian D. Weishaupt, but you can call me Zit. I'm Princess Candy. I know, I used to be on your forehead. Why did you grab me? Because I'm a monster! An evil, bloodthirsty, uncivilized monster! Who is totally in love with you! <laughs> Don't you see? I wanted to go to the ball with you, and then you sent me away! <laughs> there, there. I'm sorry. You know, you're actually kind of sweet. What's this? Princess Candy has seen beyond the Zip Monster's swollen, oily countenance and discovered his inner beauty. A love that's old as cheese And with a cheesy smell Can the two of us get along Despite your past Save you, Candy. Dave, you... I know, I'm sorry we took so long. We had to stop for sauerkraut. You can't rescue a princess on an empty stomach, right? You're not going to take my candy away from me again. Cave paintings? I think this one's a horsey. Dave! 
Wait! A little magical cut him down to size. Was a monkey. Darn one's working in reverse. Oh, no wonder I got the battery sent backwards. The jabbers! Hey, would you let me explain? No time for that. I must leap into action. This he calls action? Die! Fear not. I have returned with zit cream. Whoopie dingle do. That stuff never works. Oh, no? Well, this is new and improved Zit Be Gone. <gasps> Not new and improved Zit Be Gone. With a miracle ingredient XV-17, Zits don't stand a chance against Zit Be Gone. Now available in regular or grape. Ah! Yes! Hmm, grapey. Ah! Paris? We never went to Paris. No! And you said this stuff didn't work. Ow! What was that for? You clodpole! That zit was the nicest guy I've ever met! I was really starting to fall for him. He was so kind, so thoughtful, so sensitive. Gosh, Candy. I'm really sorry. My sister's in love with a giant zit monster. Ooh. Don't cry, Candy. You're still young. As a teenager, you'll have a lot more chances to fall in love. And if not, at least you'll have a lot more zits. <laughs> yes, it would seem that Candy has learned a lesson about seeing beneath outer appearances. Unfortunately, she hasn't learned much else. Ah, I've got a piece of lettuce stuck in my teeth. Uncle Oswich, can you get it out with your magic? You betcha. Take the plunge under the sea with Ariel, Sebastian, and Flounder in The Little Mermaid. Coming up next, here on Disney Channel.